The rubella virus is also known as the German measles or the three-day measles. It is in family Togavirus and genus Rubavirus. The rubella virus is an enveloped virus with a circular shape about 60 nanometers in diameter. The virus is composed of a capsid core containing a single copy of genomic RNA. The outer membrane is a lipid bilayer containing specialized glycoproteins that help it attach to its host. The rubella virus most likely enters the cell through endocytosis. Once in the cell, the virus releases its genetic information. Replication of this virus is slow with a latency period of 8 to 12 hours and peaks at about 36 to 48 hours after infection. The virus is transmitted via the respiratory system and replicates in the nasopharynx and lymph nodes. The average incubation period of the rubella virus is 17 days. People infected with the rubella virus are most contagious when the rash is visible, but they can be contagious from 7 days before to 7 days after the rash appears. The last major outbreak of the rubella virus in the United States occurred from 1964 to 1965. During this time, there was an estimated 12.5 million cases of rubella. Humans are the only natural hosts of the rubella virus. The virus is transmitted primarily through coming into contact with infected nasopharyngeal secretions. <coughs> Most individuals who are infected with the rubella virus only become mildly sick. <coughs> I think I'm getting the black lung, Bob. They may experience inflamed or sore lymph nodes due to the virus replicating in that region. Symptoms may also include a headache, low-grade fever, sore throat, or cold-like symptoms. Small red dots may be seen on the soft palate inside the mouth. The infamous rash of the rubella virus starts on the face and spreads to the rest of the body. It is rare to see any long-term effects from the rubella virus in children, adults, or women five months pregnant or more. Pregnant women who contract the rubella virus in the early stages of pregnancy are at risk for miscarriage or stillbirth. The unborn child of an infected mother is at high risk for developing congenital rubella syndrome. Children born with congenital rubella syndrome may experience deafness, cataracts, heart defects, intellectual disabilities, liver and spleen damage, low birth weight, and a skin rash at birth. If a mother contracts the rubella virus during the first 12 weeks of pregnancy, there is up to an 85% chance that her baby will develop congenital rubella syndrome. Mothers who are infected between 13 and 16 weeks have about a 54% chance that their child will be affected, and the rate continues to decrease as time goes on. After 20 weeks gestation, there's very little risk that the infection will cause any birth defects. Now let's hear from a man who was born with congenital rubella syndrome. I'm as good as blind in my right eye, I'm nearly blind in my left, and I'm as good as totally deaf in my right ear, um, uh, partially deaf in my left ear. I'm also in nappy 24-7 as I have severe bowel incontinence and also my water leaks quite a bit as well. While there is no specific treatment for the rubella virus, it is preventable through vaccination. <laughs> the MMR vaccination is about 97% effective in protecting against the measles, mumps, and rubella. Due to the MMR vaccine, rubella was declared eliminated from the United States in 2004. And since 2012, only six babies have been reported being born with congenital rubella syndrome in the United States. However, cases can still occur when an unvaccinated individual is exposed to an infected person. This happens most often during international travel. In 1998, a paper in a major medical journal proposed a link between autism and the vaccination for measles, mumps, and rubella. The popular press and some celebrities fueled anxiety about vaccinations based on this report. Over a dozen studies have failed to find any connection between autism and vaccines, and that original paper was retracted amid allegations of fraud and conflicts of interest. So get vaccinated and keep the rubella virus out of the United States.